everybody. Welcome to the big day for Excalibur Crossbow. We are very excited to be with you today and debut our four new crossbows for 2018. My name is Todd Snader with Excalibur Archery uh, Crossbows and I'm here with uh, Levi yeah, Pearson, our marketing programs coordinator. So he much he pretty much handles everything for us. Uh, thought it would be a great opportunity to bring him in and um, debut the crossbows for you. So. We, uh, like I said, we actually have four new crossbows for you to uh, to share. We have the 308 short, which is also available in the Serenity, yep. as well as the Banshee. And in, in addition, we have the new uh, 330, the Bulldog 330. Bulldog so 330. The Bulldog 330's got the little extra punch <clears throat> there. So we're going to uh, give you a little quick run of schedule. Um, we got something pretty cool too. So join us at the end of this, uh, these, uh, this event, and we're gonna tell you how you can win one of these crossbows, crossbow of your choice. So, but you gotta stick with us. We're gonna, we're gonna tell you how you need to do that. So again, at the end of the program, make sure you get questions ready. So Levi and I are gonna be here for the next 45 minutes, an yeah. hour. So if you have any questions on the, on the products on Excalibur, we're definitely here to answer those for you. So we'll make, uh, we'll, we'll talk about some products and we'll, we'll stop throughout. That way you get your questions in. So, but again, fire them away. Levi's an expert, I'm an expert at least in our own minds. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> we'll definitely try to answer those questions for you. So and if you guys are on live stream, yeah. if you look to the left yes, of your screen yes. right now, that's where you're coming if you're asking yourself, yep. how do you get your questions yep. in? So Make sure you open that comment box. Exactly. Thanks for remembering Facebook's that. Facebook's pretty simple, but the live yep. stream gets you sometimes. So, so we're on YouTube, yeah. we're on live stream and Facebook as well. So we're on YouTube too. We are on YouTube. There you go. It's okay. great. It's great. But not so live space, I guess. <laughs> Now, my, what's my space? Uh, relevant at this point, oh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, so we're going to cover some bow reviews. We'll go over each bow a little bit, uh, pretty in depth, actually. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about the features of the bow. What really separates these products from you know from each other as far as the features, in addition to the other crossbows on the market. There is there's a sea of crossbows, and and we want to help you choose. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's that's our job because you know it, it's it, we're excited. Um, with these these four crossbows to uh, to show them to you as well. So and again, we'll take some questions and answers uh, for you all uh, all uh, morning long. So or at least at least for the next hour. So let's hit it, Levi. Let's check out the 308. All right. So all we right. got the 308 over there. Comes in three different models, yes. as Todd alluded to. Yeah. So we have three different three different models. So we have your 308 short, which is what you have here in front of you. Um, in addition, we have the 308 Serenity. I'll grab this really quick. Becoming a super popular color. So Levi, tell us a little bit about, and this is the ladies version, and we'll hit on these a little bit. Um, uh, this is the ladies version in that Serenity camo. So tell us a little about the camo pattern. So the camo pattern, it's actually, uh, Muddy Grill has been actually really popular throughout the years. Um, based on popular feedback, their blue, which is they, they actually call it a Serenity, has been very, mm -hmm. very popular. So you'll see that that is the finish that we went yeah. on the limbs and riser. Uh, pink is overplayed. Yeah, I, pink everybody has been, has pink and it's been offered for quite yeah. some time, so we kind of wanted to mix it up. And again, your guys' valuable feedback is one of the reasons. And that's it. That that's step, it. So. You know, we, we hear it all the time at the shows. We hear it every event is, why are you doing pink? You know, mm -hmm. blue seems to be, and, and again, from like Levi was mentioning, the, the feedback was uh, blue is the way to go. So you asked, yep. we deliver. So we so. deliver. So yeah, it's a great finish, very durable, and uh, really just brings the bow mm -hmm. to another level. Um, it's a great finish. It's something that I think guys and girls will be purchasing. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock on the 308 has been shortened. Yep. So it's something where youth, female, um, I can shoulder it and get a very comfortable right. cheek weld on right. it. Um, but for somebody that wants that weight brought in a little bit closer, because I think one of the things that a lot of people don't notice is when you have a shorter stock, um, all that weight on a crossbow on automatically comes closer sure. to you. So sure. it actually makes the whole product feel even lighter. Right. So, um, that's the nice thing, and that's one of the things that we've gotten feedback from sure. our previous testing sure. as well, is you can have a very light bow, um, but as much weight brought to your shoulder, it's actually going to give the user a uh, better experience on the shot. It's going to feel better balanced, and it's just going to feel yeah. a little bit lighter overall. So, And we also have the 308 Banshee, so it's going to come awesome decked out. from Cryptek. A great Cryptek pattern. Uh, a little more features, a little bit more be bells and whistles on that, but we'll cover that here, uh, here shortly, uh, a little more in depth. So. Um, let's take a look at a great video that our, our friends at Hollywood Hunter put together. Yeah. And they gave us an initial look out shooting the crossbows. These guys have the crossbows in their hands. So um, let's go ahead and take a look what they had to say. And they're going to give us a little insight on the bows. And we'll come back and, and dive into them a little bit more for you. 
Hey guys, I'm Freddie Hartice, The Hollywood Hunter, and I'm really excited to share with you the new products that have just come out from our dear friends at Excalibur Crossbows. The Excalibur has made our life so much easier, but to know the new innovations that have come and the things that have really taken place are gonna make it out in the field that much easier for you and for me. Let's do this. If you're considering into investing into the perfect crossbow, now's your time. Right when I think I already have the perfect crossbow, they come out with these. Excalibur has helped me have success all over this world. Looking at the new models that are coming, are a little bit lighter, a little bit faster, a little bit quieter. These crossbows make it so simple and make it so fun to go out there and they build confidence. If you are looking for a no-nonsense rugged crossbow that's easy to use and you don't have to baby, look no further, you found it. Here we are with the 308 Short. As my father would always say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. We got ourselves here a real fighter. The 308 Short sets the standard for comfort, lightweight, and high performance. The stealth you need to track a buck through the brush, or to run up the Rocky Mountains, or to be able to just shoulder it on a perfect shot from a tree stand or a blind, you have everything you need right here with the 308 Short. Complemented with the distinguished bronze finish and mossy oak breakup camouflage, this crossbow blends into the forest. Premium features such as the dead zone multi reticle scope, the X Hanger three arrow quiver, and performance tuned quill arrows, the 308 Short is a unique crossbow setting the standard in balance and easy handling without sacrificing performance. We're going to go take this thing on an adventure. That was a great video. We were really excited yeah. to have Hollywood Hunter share that with us. Uh, they're they're definitely a high uh, high energy guys, aren't they? I mean, they're they uh, get out there and get a lot of it. And I've watched the show since it started, um, and they're they're great partners to have with us uh, on the Excalibur crossbows. We're ha happy to hop on board with those guys too. So, in the video, they hit on some of the initial specs and the features of that. Um, and we'll, we want to dive into that a little bit more for you. We do have some questions coming in, so we'll hit this. Um, Hit, hit you here pretty quick as we go through the bow. Um, so let's hit, hit specs really quick. So we saw those in the video. So this is a 308 bow, 308 feet per second, hence the name, um, 308 short. The cocking uh, effort or, or poundage is 127 pounds. So it's relatively lightweight. And Levi talked a little bit about the intent of this bow for ladies that like the, the short, the compact. This is great for youth that are getting into crossbows. They want to get out in the field, but they don't want to use a 200 pound crossbow, yeah. which is pretty standard in the industry um, as far as high poundage to get the speed out of there. Um, this is even for the, the, the average frame hunter that wants a bow that's nice, compact, maneuverable in the field, maneuverable in the stand that can basically get into places that no other crossbow can get into, yeah. you know? Um, so it's really a great all around crossbow. Um, I don't want to say it's just for ladies or it's just for kids because realistically it's not. I should. Um, I'm sorry, it's cocking Everett's 127 pounds, but the draw weight's 254 pounds. I was mistaken on the, on the flip there. So um, the, the power stroke is 13 and 3 eighths. So for the overall size, it has a ton of power stroke generating a lot of that speed. Um, 5.4 pounds. So this is really, Levi talked about it. Overall weight is, is very, very light, very well balanced on the forearm. So it's, uh, it makes it, again, makes it an optimal bow for, the, for those users that we had talked about as well. So overall length, 30 inches. Um, I think that is one of the most compact crossbows out there. Yeah. Um, even in, if you're looking in the youth line, I think that is one of the most compact pack crossbows out there with this performance. And it doesn't matter if you're tree stand, ground blind, spot and stock. Yes. The shorter, the more compact crossbow is always going to give you a better result. So yep. that's one of the big things that being able to get that performance in that 30 inch package sure. is still something that is going to benefit any user. And, and this isn't a, a plastic crossbow. <laughs> no. I mean, anything in this size crossbow or this this intent in this style crossbow traditionally has a, a polymer rail. It has an inferior trigger. It doesn't have all the bells and whistle, uh, whistles that, you know, the high-end crossbows. This has all of that. 
This has the aluminum uh, rail, it has the aluminum riser, it has our Excalibur trigger in it. It has the guarding anti-dry fire device, which also allows you to decock this crossbow, which yeah. is a big feature out there. Not just decock, but quietly and safely. There's a lot of crossbows out there that are really noisy, especially with those integrated uh, cranks. A lot of rat sounds like a boat winch, you know, like that ratcheting sound when it. Um, this is super quiet. It's you can do it in the you do it in the stand. You can get you can do it when you get to uh, get to the tree. Um, it comes with the rope cocking device. So this this where you get your 127 pounds cocking effort. So this reduces your um, cocking effort and also allows you to let that down simply. You don't have to shoot this crossbow at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, which is extra equipment. I mean, you've got to burn a bolt into the ground. You know, you have to or bring have, a bag target. Or, or bring a bag target or bring a block yeah. target in the back of your truck. Um, to shoot this crossbow, dole your broad, broad head or have an extra field point or um, a blunt. So you don't have to do that. That's what's the great thing about this crossbow and with any cross, uh, Excalibur crossbow that has the Guardian anti dryer fire device as well. So. Super compact again, 21 inches cocked. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that is, I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, it, it almost, to me, you know, that's the size of a, a traditional, you know, youth crossbow. But again, the performance you get out is phenomenal. Uh, 25 inches uncocked. So even at that, it's, it's more compact than most average crossbows are cocked as yeah. well. So um, this is available in the Mossy Oak Breakup Country. Uh, camp patterns, what you see here, in addition to the the muddy girl uh, or the the serenity pattern. I don't want to say muddy girl because that's the pink. This is the the 308 serenity as well. So um, comes with some pretty some pretty cool accessories. Levi, you want to walk us through uh, the accessories? Yeah. So the optics included is a multi reticle optic. Yeah. Um, this is the dead zone. So this yeah. is not a low end uh, scope by any means. So you so. have great glass. You have multi reticle so you can know what your yardage and your holdover is. Mm -hmm. uh, like Todd was saying before, it has the guardian. Uh, it comes with your three quiver arrow uh, mm -hmm. with three bolts for it um, and the rope cocking system. So it has everything that you need. And what he was talking about with just the material even used, this is right. a product built to last because it's something that we have to with the warranty and how confident we are with this yeah. product. Is it something that we fully, and you've seen the videos yeah, too. Yeah, we let in with that video. Yeah, the, the amount of abuse that we put these things through yes. because we want the consumer to be extremely confident in this hunting product. Um, you know, with hunting and seasons, it's one of those things where if anything happens, if Murphy's knocking at your yeah. door, your <laughs> Which season's it happens. done. It Which happens. happens. You have to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. So um, every single accessory that's included with this product, we want it to last. We want it to have a lifetime of use for the consumer if they choose to. So that's the beauty of it. So great quality glass, yep. um, great quiver, three bolts, rope yes. cocking system, uh, and the Guardian is what makes up the accessory package mm -hmm. for this product. Um, the nice thing is what all these bows that we're showing you actually has, whether it's the stock or the right. riser, um, has the capability for you to add accessories down right. the road right. if you want to customize it a little bit more. So you can add cheek welds, um, you can add the reds dampening, mm -hmm. uh, some of the other dampening yeah. components we that we'll here. show you on yeah, you can get the, the other you know, products. You can get the air brakes, you can get the full silencing system. Yeah, to bring that um, decimal level down. Oh, absolutely. More. Absolutely. And you know, we make tactical rail to mount whatever you want on there and go uh, straight some up of the tactical. Stuff that we've seen, Levi's a tactical guy. He's, a, he's into the ARs and, oh, yeah. and pistols, so I think that resonates with him a little bit. Yep. You gotta some trick of the it out. So. Pictures we've seen of you guys adding the bipods and everything else it's always uh, yeah. entertaining so yeah we have all those options for you that external crank is a big thing i'm not sure if you mentioned the external crank no. you can add to this c2 crank it is phenomenal because it does come with the the rope cocker but even more so you can throw that that external cranking device on there it's quick it's fast it's quiet yep um and gives you that that ability to reduce that draw weight as even even more yep. than this rope cocker does it's something you can throw in your pack again when you get to the stand you put it on and it doesn't permanently mount on there, so you can add it to the back, crank it up, and go. Yep. You know, that's the big Here piece there. So, um, I have a couple questions. What do you say we hit a few questions? We got some rolling in. So, um, Chris on live stream is asking it about, about it not having cams. That is a great question. Um, I can take that one, and, Le and Levi, you can elaborate a little bit. Excalibur Crossbow, we're about simplicity because we don't want you to have to deal with no nonsense stuff. Um, cams are, you know, been around on crossbows for a while. Excalibur's been around for over 30 years. 
um, because we want to have a crossbow that you can go into the field. You can, just like our, our, uh, our abuse challenge there, we want you to be able to abuse it. Um, not, not saying that you know, we, we are encouraging you to abuse it, but it needs to be able to take that. So if you go into the field, if you fray a string, if you um, cut it with a broadhead, sometimes that happens. You can change this in the field. We talked about the ability to cock and decock that as well, but also with our, our, uh, our rope, our, our uh, string, uh, take, changer. Uh, string changer, thank you. It gives you the ability to switch out that string in the field. Super simple. Cams, you're hosed in the field. If you cut that broad head, um, if you do anything in the field, if you drop it, if something, you know, drop it out of a stand and bend the cam, you're done. Your hunt is done. You're, it's a trip back to your, your dealer. And, uh, you know, that could be hours, miles. I mean, if you're on, you're on a guided hunt somewhere that you've paid good money for, you're, you're done. Um, hopefully they have a, a local dealer there that can fix you up. With something like with uh, our Excalibur crossbow, you can have an extra string in your pack. If something happens, you can change it out at that moment be ready to go you set it up no walk not you don't have to walk back to camp you're ready to go so that's the big advantage in, uh, of of no cams it's about the durability it's about the simplicity you know two limbs a string and you're good to go yeah yep. one of the, as soon as you integrate cams into a product you're going to have multiple cables you're going to have the string and it's like he said when something's cut uh, that energy that goes in the cams you'd pretty much mean, need a whole front end to repair that crossbow. The beauty of this is, uh, again, going back to those videos that you've seen, yeah. um, the worst thing that can happen, if I have the hunt of a lifetime or even one where, um, you know, all of us work a lot. So, like, this year I only got three weekends out to hunt. Your time was limited. Your yeah, time was so limited. Yeah, so something where if something happens, I am pretty much out of hunting season. I'm so glad you brought that up because, you yeah, know, we're if working I had, all day long, everybody's working uh, all day long. All you want to do is go hunt. Yeah. Um, if I have the capability of taking a month yep. off and something happens to my boat, I have a little bit more grace period. But something like this, if I'm out in the woods and I slip or, you know, a broadhead cuts that string with a new string and a string changer, I can have this bow back up. And you've seen the videos. We'll run over it. We'll cut the string. And it still shoots a bullseye. Mm -hmm. And there's really no other product on the market that offers you that instant of get back up in your sure. hunt. You're good to go. Yeah. So that's really what we're trying Great to do question. is build an, a product with extreme technology, but at the same time, in simple of a form where you yourself can get that product mm -hmm. back up, finish the hunt, fill that tag, and have a successful yes. season. Yep. And Great break question. about it all to your friends that, hey, Murphy hit me, I bounced back, yeah. and I still punched that tag. So Here's a name you'll recognize, Levi. We've got another good question from Wyvern Creations. Ah, I'm sure David. this is David watching, so David. I get a little shout out to David. Mm. We've uh, known David a long time, Levi and I both. So Too long. Um, it's good to hear from you. So there's another on live stream. Thanks for joining us on live stream again. Um, he wants to know if we're going to offer the cheek pieces in the, uh, to match the camo. Great so currently, question. yeah, it's a good question. Currently, we do not. Um, just because we offer a pretty wide array of camo. Um, right now, it's black. Not to say we would never do that, David, but that's a good, a good question and great feedback. Um, so that's something that we'll note and get back to the, the guys there and, yeah. and pass that along. So um, another live stream question, what speeds are you getting? So this is the 308 short. So this one is a 308 crossbow up to 308 feet per second. Now that's kind of contingent if you do use, you know, that's with our included bolts and the field points um, or broadheads uh, of, of that weight. So, but if you're using a different, different broadhead, um, different point weight, different bolt, you know, you could see some variances in your speed, but with our standard standard uh, accessories, you'll see uh, right about that. And that's a great mark, point, so. too, because I know these quills are phenomenal. They've been tested through the entire mm -hmm. R&D process of mm -hmm. this product, and we get fantastic results. Sure. However, I know a lot of you guys have bolts that you swear by, you really like, mm -hmm. broadhead, front head center, whether you're using 125, 100 grain. Yep. The cool thing is we fully respect that as long as it's a quality product, yep. and the optic that we have on this actually is adjustable so if you have like a 125 grain broadhead that you really like and you've seen great results right. this Good. reticle how I was talking about has multi reticle you can actually adjust it for yep, different speed. weighted yeah. broadheads that you may want to use so, so whatever your speed is you know you set it to yep. 308 if you're shooting a little faster than that you can dial it in and you just sight in that top mark and you're and you're ready to go it out to distance in yeah. there. so it's multi like uh, Levi said multi reticle in there um, in that in that unit, so that's why we had to go with the dead zone. We had to give you the premium yeah. scope. So it's not something yep. that you have to buy the product and then immediately swap out the optic. Yeah, so that's yeah. This real is nice in your general throwaway cross uh, yeah. crossbow oh. scope. You know, we we wanted to give you the upgrade on there. So, um, Jessica Grace, this is a great question, Jessica. 
Um, my father has a bad back. Is that something he can use? He wants to get back into bow hunting. Absolutely, without a doubt, yes. Yeah. This, is, this is perfect. And you, it, realistically, any Excalibur crossbow is perfect for that. The nice thing about this is generally, probably, I'm, I'm assuming he's not going to be climbing into a tree stand. I mean, he possibly can. Um, for blinds, the, how compact this bow is, is phenomenal. You add in that C2 crank, the ability to cock that, it's near zero effort at that yeah. point. You're not wrenching your back trying to draw a crossbow back. That's with any crossbow. Um, but, but with the addition of that, um, super again, super quiet, you're in the blind, it's maneuverable. This is a, a perfect crossbow for, uh, for your father. Um, especially with that, uh, and you know, hopefully he's in a state. I know a lot of states are we're adding states continually that, or we're seeing states that continually are starting to add some crossbow in there. I think Illinois is the one of the newest I've seen. I believe so. Um, I was just in Illinois a couple weeks ago, and and they were actually had some guys there on the hunt that were for the first time in Illinois using a crossbow. So and we, also with great, the 308s, so. they want it to be easier to cock in general. So you'll notice that the power stroke is only 12 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. So if your father does have a bad back and it's something where drawing that weight, um, there's he may have tried other crossbows and he, you know, because a lot of times if you have to pull it up to like 14, 15, or even 18, some of these power strokes you see out there, it's that last effort yes. that's really tough for people. So being able to only have to move that string 12 and a half inches and still getting mm -hmm. the performance of this crossbow is fantastic. Um, but like Todd said, that yeah. C2 crank is going to take all effort out of the picture for him. So yeah. uh, it'd be a great option for him. So I encourage you, I mean, we have a lot of features, a lot of technology around this crossbow. I encourage you to get to ExcaliburCrossbow.com. We have a great video series that really dives in depth into the features. Why, why recurve? Yeah. Um, how to cock and decock the crossbow? How to change the string out if something happens? We actually, more of the destruction challenge in there. Um, I definitely encourage you to get in there, take a look. How much is the the Serenity and the and the 308 short going to run us, Levi? We have people asking, well, how much is that crossbow going to cost me? That is a great question. We're looking at 749 on you. the on the 308 short. <laughs> on the Banshee version, we actually have back here. I'm going to show everybody that Banshee version because I out. love the. Uh, I mean, I'm a big mossy oak guy personally, but this is pretty neat in a crossbow. Um, you don't see this technical pattern. Um, offered in a, uh, a crossbow very much. So this is the 308 Banshee. We're going to deck this out for you. I mean, this this has all the bells and whistles to it. So um, you take the core, you take that 308 short, all the features and all the performance out of the boat, and we add the silencing system to it. We add the air brakes to it. We add the red, uh, red string dampener to it. It is, I mean, it's ready to go. This is I think it's, uh, well, I was going to look at the decimals here. It was pretty darn, I think you and I were talking about the, the decimal level. Maybe that was the matrix. But So you get the dead zone scope still. You get the sound deadening system, which is your limb, your string leeches, um, your string silencers. You foot get stirrup. The, the, uh, the, yeah, thank you. Um, the, the silence foot stirrup as well. Um, the red suppressors. And again, you get the Guardian anti-dryer device, so you have the ability to cock and decock that as well. So um, again, you get the three quill arrows, the rope cocking aid, and you get the X hanger three arrow quiver um, with the three cocking bolts. So that's available here on the back, and you can actually move that around depending on how you like that to be mounted. So you can right now it's uh, it's uh, 90 degrees to the rail, so you can adjust that around um, a little bit. Plus the pattern, cryptic pattern. I mean, you can't go wrong. This is a pretty technical pattern that you generally only see on the vertical bows. Um, and we're going to offer that in a crossbow, which is, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of crossbows, yeah, but I haven't awesome. seen a lot of cool patterns that are available like that. Um, generally, you see black, you see, you know, the conventional uh, camo patterns, but we're going to upgrade you in this bow too. So tell us how much this one is, Levi. We're going to test you. Oh God! Working at 849, 8, 849, 849 for say, yeah. for the Banshee version. So this is the 308 short Banshee version as well. So I yeah, encourage I you guys breaks. get into your dealer if you have uh, get get to the website, check out where we have dealers, but get in there, ask for it. Just like, you want to shoot it? The big you got to get this crossbow in your hands. You'll be astonished. Get your get kids in there that want to get into a crossbow. Get your wives that want to get in their crossbow. You most of all, if you're, in, you know, I don't want to say just guys are watching. I mean, I know we have Jessica that was watching as well. So get in there and shoot it. Get your get your father in there and shoot this crossbow. Yeah. Yep. I encourage you. You'll and for guys that already have crossbows, you know, a lot of times that's your, you know, I 
feel a lot of those questions as far as, hey, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Should I upgrade? Mm -hmm. One of the things that we high highly recommend is take your current crossbow in, shoot it next to an Excalibur, um, you know, talk to the salesman there, uh, kind of ask him pros and cons, uh, any questions you have, but that's probably one of the best ways to really compare, hey, is the durability that I could, you know, uh, take in an Excalibur uh, worth of upgrading my current bow? And that's one of the things that I'd highly recommend doing because it's going to give you the confidence and really you're preparing for that situation that you don't want. Yep. Plus, at the same time, all the features, the quietness of this crossbow, yep. the maneuverability and the durability of the product. So, um, highly recommend getting to your local dealer. Yep, and this is, I think, Wyvern asked another good question, length of pull on this. So um, it's definitely compact. You're looking at a 12 and a half inch length yep. of pull on this bow. So it's, um, we've had a couple people, you know, trying it out, a couple shorter people, and it fit phenomenally. Yeah. Um, as far as, you know, that, that length of pull as well. So, um, well, what do you say we moved on to the 330? Let's do Let's it. Let's go to the big dog, the bulldog. Yeah. Swap this out. Put keep this those, back keep those questions rolling, guys. These are great questions. So. All right, so this is the 330 Bulldog. So you'll see uh, one of the series that's been extremely popular has been the Matrix series. So this is kind of built off that. Yes. It's actually with the dampening components you'll see, it's actually 2.2 decimals and, quieter. And you've seen a lot, we've seen a lot of evolution in, in the Matrix series Absolutely. just because of that popularity. Yeah. Um, you know, the, you, you have the 380. Um, several different series of it. Even the even in the youth model, the Grizzly is in the GRZ2 is the Matrix series, just because of the popularity of of that series. So. Yeah, this is actually compared to the Matrix series, they were actually able to make this lighter, uh, more compact, mm -hmm. and easier to cock. So some great uh, just upgrades to the Matrix yep. series on the Bulldog 330. Uh, fantastic yep. speed, uh, easier to cock, lighter, yep. uh, more compact, and you'll also see all the dampening components uh, included with this sure. one as well. You I think we have a good video offer. that we can share yeah, too as well. Our good friend uh, probably have seen our video or our live event we did earlier in the year with Dan Wallace from yep. Hunt in the Backwoods. Um, we actually destroyed a crossbow, uh, oh, yeah. a compound crossbow in pieces here. Pieces everywhere. And, yeah, pieces everywhere. In and, this very room. In the, yeah, in this very room. So Dan Wallace has uh, a couple of these crossbows out in the field. So let's take a look at what uh, Dan Wallace had to say. And uh, so let's go ahead and roll it. The Matrix Bulldog 330 Suppressed is the hardest working crossbow in this class. The Bulldog 330 delivers all the rugged and reliable features that hunters have come to expect from the best-selling Matrix series, but it's 2.2 decibels quieter. In addition, new enhancements have been added to make it shorter, lighter, and easier to load. These refinements will meet the demands of any hunter that's looking for a crossbow he can use and abuse and shoot all day long. Coming fully loaded with the hardest working features like Excalibur's compact recurve limbs, dead zone multi-reticle scope, the Guardian anti-dry fire, the ultra quiet sound deadening system, 18 inch performance tuned Diablo arrows, and full mossy oak breakup country camouflage. All these features combined with the new bullpup stock to give unmatched ergonomic comfort and balance to help you tackle any hunt and give you a lifetime of performance. So if you're looking for a no-nonsense crossbow, you found it right here with the Matrix 330. It's rugged, reliable, and you can shoot it all day long. That was great. I like what Dan does too. I mean, that guy is just no-nonsense as far as He's not afraid to try and break something. Oh, uh, that's no, why we used him in our in our destruction <laughs> challenge. So um, he was one of the big guys. We need to, um, you know, we we get bows in there in his hands. Yeah. Um, as far as that, he's one of those guys that if he can break it, he will. So it's great for R and D. And uh, so far, uh, that video I'll never forget when he's shooting in his barn, just cuts yeah. the string, uh, gets the string back on, simulating what pretty much every hunter fears happening during their season. So, um, but yeah, going over the Bulldog 330, some of the specs is um, it uh, speeds up to 330 feet per second. Uh, cock, cocking effort with the rope cocker is 110 pounds. 
the draw, uh, the power stroke on it is 17 and a half, and the overall weight of the entire crossbow, minus some of the accessories, yep. is actually uh, under six pounds. It's actually 5.9. Which is so. phenomenal for a full-size yeah. crossbow. Uh, yeah. So being able to get that weight down really allows you to, with less weight out front, again, if you're trying to take that shot, you have a big old buck in front of you, or regardless mm -hmm. of what you're shooting at, um, the fear of you know shaking or holding a big weight, you know, for yeah. potentially you're waiting for the perfect shot. Bringing that weight down mm -hmm. is always going to bring you more success. So, seeing a sub six crossbow, six, sub six pound crossbow yep. of this nature uh, is impressive to say the least. Um, overall length is just over thirty inches. It's thirty three and three quarters, and then the width cocked is actually only twenty two and a half. So, again, if you're yep. in a ground blind tree stand, uh, spot and stock, you don't really have to be looking quite as much left and right, making sure that there's no uh, major. Uh, trees or branches sure. or something that'll impact upon expansion so keeping that overall size and if it does you know, it's not going to hurt it exactly you know. you'll still you'll you may not make that bullseye but yep. at the same time if something you can happens you can product. fix it no, if exactly. you whack a tree you can fix it yep whack a cam on a tree see what happens yep exactly yeah. so it's With, quieter though i mean i yeah. think that's the 2. major 2 piece. decimals quieter and you'll actually notice that this doesn't even have the air brakes Another right. feature that you can purchase yeah, aftermarket absolutely. and add on to this if you feel like you need to bring down the sound even more. Yeah, um, it does have the, the SDS system, so it has the yep. sound editing system on there too. Um, but like Levi said, add that on. I mean, if you want it quieter, we shot this the the decimal level. Oh, yeah. it's it is quiet, especially for a recurve crossbow. So that's one of the things that being able to deliver this in a very quiet package. Mm -hmm. um, has been I, I've been surprised with the, yeah. the amount of upgrades and and uh, strides that they've been able sure. to do with the product. So well, I'm getting lit up here really quick, Levi. Right, let's our knock folks out some more questions. Well, uh, not necessarily a question, but behind mm -hmm. the scenes. So we're going to hold it till the end. Okay. But we talked about giving one of these away. So yeah. We, we're going to give an opportunity to text in and enter to win a crossbow. So we're going to run this for two weeks. Two um, weeks. I think on the 27th we're going to give this away. We want to give everybody an opportunity, so. especially. Um, when we uh, we repost this, so it's super easy. Make sure you text XCAL to seven seven four five three. Also, you can go to the Excalibur website, enter to win there as well. So, but uh, again, that's what, what was that again, Levi? XCAL, XCAL to seven seven four nine three four five three. Four, five, I forgot three. it too in our in our last event. So let's get <laughs> XCAL to seven seven four five three, and we'll, we'll remind you here at the end as well, um, in case there's anybody joining this. And so. that's a specific bow or. Uh, your choice of these four. Yep, we're gonna go. Your, we're gonna go your choice All of right. these four. My boss will probably kill me after saying that too. So yeah. everybody's probably going, "What?" Exactly. <laughs> of their choice. So let's continue on the through third. I didn't mean to interrupt you. So, um, oh, here's a good question. Let's let's hit this really quick. Is that three thirty with or without the silencing package? So this is as shipped. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna. You're gonna be getting that 330 with what you see here. So we're not gonna give you a base a base speed and then add all this on and then you go out and shoot it and not see that speed. So again, that's with the bolts that are included. This does have the Diablo uh, Di Diablo bolts. Mm -hmm. um, did you walk us through the, the package options on this? Uh, no. Let's go uh, let's, so let's, real quick. Let's go ahead and walk us through the package options. And yeah. So again, dead zone scope uh, adjustable for uh, different weighted broadheads. Um, you have the upgraded stock that's going to be making it shorter, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit lighter as well. You have your three quiver arrow um, that is adjustable on left and right hand or left yep. or right side, depending if you have a preference. Yep. Uh, the right dampening kit, exactly. Yep. Um, the Diablo arrow pack, uh, rope cocker, and then the dampening foot stirrup as well is going to make up the package yep. accessories for this. Uh, you can add accessories to it, but you'll see here that this boat pretty much comes fully kitted for you. So you have the air brakes, a cheek weld you could add um, if you desire. But again, uh, this crossbow comes pretty quiet. I it can't does. imagine it does. Again, the, weight, the noise down a little bit Absolutely. More. Again, it takes the full array of accessories we offer. Yep. The butt plates, the, uh, the cheek weld. Um, so you can deck it out. The tack rail. Yep. And again, it comes with the Guardian. So again, if you guys, if your current crossbow, every single time at the end, you have to pull out the bag, target out of the rig, or yeah. uh, sacrifice a bolt and you know risk the chance of cracking that bolt and tossing it in a second time, mm -hmm. um, this crossbow, just like all the Excalibur products with the Guardian, you can actually let it down at the end yeah. of your hunt. So absolutely. It's this, a fantastic feature. You know, and I, you know, I really equate this to, it, 
r rugged durability in a crossbow yeah. because you know we I kind of use an analogy when you're looking at when people are asking me well why cambos versus uh, our recurve technology our compact recurve technology I think the way to look at it as Ferrari versus Mack truck yeah. you take uh, you take a cam crossbow just like in our destruction challenge you drag that through the dirt you drag it behind a quad you drop from a helicopter um, good luck. It's gonna, it, something's gonna happen. You're gonna need to fix it. It's gonna be expensive to fix it. This is a Mack truck. You, you, this is, you know, you drive it through the dirt, you drop it. Um, you drop it from a helicopter, it's gonna hold up. So, it, I mean, that's the biggest way, that, I mean, that's the optimal way to look at it. You know, if you, if you wanna go into the field, do you want a Ferrari or do you want a Mack truck? Yeah. You know, do you want something that potentially could let you down and have to go fix it or do you want something that's gonna hold up and get the job done for you? Um, that's what it is. It's just a no-nonsense, rugged, durable, beat-it-up crossbow. And you'll notice also on the Bulldog 330 is pretty much the entire thing is camo. Even the rail is integrated with yep. the Mossy Oak Breakup Country as with the stock and limbs. So it's beautiful. It's a great yep. finish for the pr product and it looks fantastic. So, man, they're getting generous. I'm getting, getting, uh, getting lit up with some giveaway stuff here, Levi. So what do you say we give away some merch codes? Fifty dollar merch codes, man. They're surprising me today. They're actually feeling pretty good. Good. Hey, when you get the green light, you just go for it. So. Yep. Yep. So let's think of. Uh, so actually, the first person to I'm going to give them a good question here. So, um, what's the color? So what Cryptek color is our upgraded version available? And first person to answer is going to get a fifty dollar promo code. Um, to get online and get some cool gear. So we have, uh, in our BowTechArcheryGear.com, um, we have some pretty neat stuff. So you're able to go in there, check out, use that $50 merch code. So, um, so And also, we'll do another merch code as well. So first person to give us that Cryptek color, what color we're offering that in, in addition to another good question. We'll, if somebody's got another good question, we'll go ahead and, and do that. And I'll go back through and maybe we'll pick somebody else. You wanna pick somebody, Levi? Uh, let's give it to not Jessica. you, David. Not you, David. No. Let's give it to Jessica Grace. Jessica Grace, I think that's a good one. So, Jessica Grace, you are the proud owner of a fifty-dollar promo code. So, just shoot a message to us on uh, Facebook, and we can get you hooked up on on that. And all you have to do is when you go to BotechArcheryGear.com, when you check out, drop that code in there, and we'll we'll hook you up as well. So. Come on, guys, get that stuff fired in. We want to be able to give away some of this cool stuff for you, too. So. Should we ask him what kind of optic is equipped on all these bows? Um, let's wait to see some many texts on the other ones first. Uh -huh. So I don't know if, we're, if we've lost some people or, or what. But. I'm going to have to pull out my phone. <laughs> no, you can't answer. You're, you're, uh, Go buy an alias or something. Yep. So again, these are our four new crossbows for this year. We're excited to debut these for you guys today. Um, so we have the 308 short the 308 Serenity, the 308 Cryptic. I'm not gonna answer it for you, I'm not gonna leak it out. Um, and also the, the 330. So again, this is the suppressed version, so you get the full. Um, Adam Klaus, you're close. It's not Muddy Girl. We're looking at the upgraded version, the Cryptic color. So good guess, but that's not quite it. So um, keep them coming, guys. We have Cryptic, so it's the upgraded version right behind me here. We'll, to, we'll show you. We'll even get it over here to you. Probably everybody's scrambling going on the Cryptek site right now. Oh, yeah. Um, so here is that color. We'll put it front and center for you guys. Um, that way, we, we got to get that merch code out. I want to give away some merch codes. Yeah, let's do it. Um, again, those guys are probably saying we're nuts here, but um, keep firing over questions as well. Could be on Excalibur, could be on, um, on the models specific to themselves as well. So. Um, and again, we'll, good, Michael TM. I think yeah, that's how you pronounce it. It's the dead zone scope. The dead there zone scope is a great answer. So Michael, messages on Facebook and we'll get you hooked up with that $50 code. Man, I thought this question would be the easiest out of everybody because this is the deck out We did out go over it pretty quick, so but. We did, we did. So get, get on the Cryptek and check it out because this is a pretty cool color. We talked about this. Um, that nobody else is really offering. Yeah, I haven't seen it in the industry like yet. So, um, so, so far we have Michael TM. Um, go ahead and get on their messages. You get a $50 code. Jessica, you have a $50 code. Um, if not, we may have to figure out some other, other people to give away some good stuff uh -huh. too. So, 
Um, so let's go ahead, and I think we should wrap this up um, if nobody has any other questions. So I recommend you getting out there and getting your dealer, trying out these crossbows. They should be having these bows in hand, Yep. maybe even now. Yeah, um, give them a call, the check shop availability, as well. see if you can come in and try one out. Ah, uh, Paul, you're close. It's not Highlander. Uh -oh, that is a Cryptek color. You're close. you're close. Very, very similar. Um, why people were scrambling the Cryptek uh, website. Uh, don't forget to make sure you text Excal to what, Levi? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, 77453. I haven't had my copy um, this morning. You know, merch codes are great. Banshee, woohoo, Chris, uh, P-E-H-R-S-O-N, -E Pearson, Pearson, I think that's how you say it. $50 promo code, you got it. Shoot us a message um, and we'll get that hooked up there for you too. So let's just pick another random person for our fourth code here. Oops, it popped up there on the... Uh, Do we have some live stream? Here. We have anybody? Yeah, we have some live stream people on here too. Um, let's do Chris, the very first question. Yeah, I think that was let's a great one. Let's give the first one in. So Chris, I'm not sure you don't have your last name in there. You're on live stream. Um, shoot us your information. Um, we might be able to find you. We have a pretty good crew of stalkers that generally can find we people, find you. more so on Facebook. But uh, if you're on, mm. you know, you're, uh, you're, you have a Facebook membership, get on there, shoot us a message. But yeah. uh, Excalibur Crossbows will get you hooked up as well. So, man, that was, that was fun. Give away some yeah. cool stuff. Thanks, guys, for joining us. This I want to give a Crossbow fun. away in two weeks, though. All right. All right, one more time, Levi. Excal 2. 774. Seven, seven, Five three. Four five three. Seven seven four five three. If you Make ask me again, I'm gonna Oh uh, yeah, hopefully you gotta memorize here. So no, I was gonna say punch you in the throat. Get on yeah. social. <laughs> Share your crossbows. We wanna see you guys with yes. Excalibur crossbows. So make sure you get on social. Use that hashtag Excalibur Crossbow, and yeah. we'll be sure to share. Uh, be sure to share those. We want to do do more events like this for Excalibur Crossbow, and we want to be able to share you guys out in the field. Your successes, or just you with your crossbow, so or even um, your testimonies. I've talked test to yes. so many of you crazy guys at the trade show where you're like, I dropped it out of my tree yes. stand, and your Let's tree stand's it. way higher than it should have been, and you picked it up and shot a bullseye. Yes. So that is yep. like the coolest stories I like to hear. So yeah, even your testimonies, let us know. Absolutely. We love hearing Absolutely. that stuff. Well, make sure you get in and, and get that done. Get that Excalibur 77453. I will let you. Levi off the hook. Thank so, you. I appreciate the grace. You know, thanks for joining us. Get to your dealers. Check these out. Get them in your hands. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. So until next time, thanks for joining us on Excal Live.